I have a friend who is an avid modeler, especially boats. Now we're not talking simple run-of-the-mill plastic models that you buy at any store. We're talking elaborate complex wooden models made to scale that include a pretty incredible amount of details. Here's some sample pictures of the process he goes through to build these models. On the top left, you have the base skeleton of the ship. In the middle, you see a hull of a ship in an almost complete state. And the final product, including all the rigging, is shown on the bottom right picture. I'm personally not into modeling. This video is not about the process to build these scale models. Rather, I'm going to walk you through the simple project to build the base upon which the model will sit. See the base of this ship? Yep, I built that. At first, it looks pretty simple, right? And a lot of the steps of this process is actually very simple. Just a couple of boards glued together. But there is a groove in these boards that will accept the plexiglass box that protects the ship. Cutting that groove at the right place is the complex part of this whole process. For this project, my friend asked me to build a base with walnut boards on the outside and a maple board in the middle. So, first step is to cut the boards to their rough length. Since these boards were not all the same thickness, next step was to use the planer to even things out. my jointer to make sure that all the faces that would mate with each other would be perfectly square. Once the three boards were all milled and evened out, it was time to plan out how I would glue them up. I personally like to use biscuits, so you see me here laying out the places where I would cut them. Then it was time to do the glue up. Lots of glue, lots of glue on biscuits, on the edges. Uh, I actually did the glue up in two um, steps. So I glued the first two boards together. And then when it came time to do the third board, I waited until the first two boards that that mating had been properly set. I let the final glue up cure overnight. Next morning came in, took off all the clamps, made sure everything looked all right, and went to the next step. Which was to use my planes to clean everything up. I started with my jack plane, and then uh, for some of the more subtle changes, use my block plane. All right, so here's my setup. I've got a plunge router with a quarter inch straight cutting bit in, the, in it. Uh, I've also got a straight edge. I've measured the half the distance from the edge of my bit to the side and I've laid my straight edge so that the bit shows up uh, on my line. I've scored my lines to and measured them very carefully so I know where they are. I've also put a start line on one end and on the other so that I can push my router from uh, left to right and stop at the right place. I'm going to do two passes. The first pass is going to be at the zero point on my plunge router and that's just to score the top of the wood. And my second pass is going to be in depth. It's going to be about a quarter inch deep again with the plunge router. Let me get set up and I'll go ahead and do my cuts.
the next step was to cut the board to the final length. In order to get a nice straight cut, I used my table saw sled. And it was a lot of sanding going from 80 up to 220 grit. Applied a clear finish, and then the last step was just to uh, bolt on these little rubber feet uh, so that it would uh, sit properly on top of furniture. Project's done. So that's what the final product looks like. It's awesome. The ship is properly displayed, and what I like is that the base, even though it's really using nice wood, doesn't take away any of the beauty of the ship. You really focus on the ship a lot more. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Love to hear from you. Thanks and see you soon.